ಚೂರು ಮಾಡಿ ನೀವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅವ್ರಿ ತಗೊಳ್ಳಿ ಇಷ್ಟ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ Good morning students. How are you all? Fine. Yes, I am also fine. Now students, today we study one new topic that is microorganisms, friend and foe. What do you mean by microorganisms students? Whether you know? Yes, today you come to know what do you mean by microorganisms. Microorganisms also known as microbes. Microbes means these are small living things which we cannot see our naked eyes. we can't see with our naked eyes those are known as micro organisms or microbes okay students here micro organisms are divided into four categories which are those bacteria fungi protozoa and algae we come to know that viruses are also one of the category of the micro organisms okay students here viruses are also microscopic but they are different from the other organisms okay students micro organisms are used for various purposes they are used for the preparation of curd bread and cake okay students here we can see that microorganisms are too small and are not visible what do you mean by visible uh, which are not visible means which we which we cannot see our naked eyes using microscope we can see the micro organisms micro organisms are too small and are not visible to the unaided eye okay student they can live in all kinds of environment ranging from ice cold climate to the to hot springs and deserts to marshy lands okay students here microorganisms uh, some different types of microorganisms they are living in the cold climate some different type of microorganisms they are living in the hot climate some are living in the rainy season okay some are originating from in the rainy season okay students here so many uh, types we are uh, studying here next point we we'll go to the next point micro organisms may be single cell single cell means what friend organisms which are made up of only one cell those are known as unicellular organisms in micro organism some are unicellular organisms unicellular organisms means organisms made up of only one cell those are known as unicellular organisms the very important point we come to know that some micro organisms are unicellular organisms okay students next some micro organisms are multicellular organisms here example giving like bacteria some algae and protozoa okay students protozoa algae and bacteria fungi these all are the micro organisms here some are multicellular such as many algae and fungi here polio chicken pox cough are caused by viruses cough fever flu okay chicken pox all these diseases caused by the viruses okay students now it is you know that covid 19 that is corona virus we are telling that okay student this uh, covid disease disease name is covid 
the covid disease spread from one person to another person by viruses this disease attack by virus virus name is covid 19 okay students corona here next diseases like dysentery and malaria are caused by protozoa typhoid and tuberculosis are bacterial diseases okay students some are bacterial diseases some are viral diseases viral diseases means which are spread from virus okay student here so many points are there again some points we study here are you ready to study yes i think you are ready with your pen and notebook okay students living organisms around us which we have normally cannot see these are called microbes or microorganisms what are the important point uh, here we have to notice microorganisms means these are the living organisms okay student these are the living organisms around us which we have normally cannot see for example corona virus we can't see our naked eyes where it is corona virus is there no we can't see okay like that micro organisms are around us which we normally cannot see these are called microbes or micro organisms okay students next point micro organisms are classified into four major groups okay students here in micro organisms four major groups are there which are those come to know first of all bacteria fungi protozoa and algae and some algae they are telling here bacteria fungi protozoa and algae virus is also microscopic okay but they are different in nature microorganisms are used for various purposes here students we observe that in microorganisms some microorganisms are useful to us some microorganisms are harmful to the human being okay students some are harmful some are useful okay that's why our lesson name is microorganisms friend and foe okay some microorganisms are friends okay students here microorganisms are very very helpful when dead body of animal or plant is there uh, how it will buried in the soil how it will decompose in the soil by the microorganisms microorganisms are very useful to decompose the dead body of an animal okay students here if dead body of an animal is there microorganisms are not there in our nature it means it is uh, very difficult to decompose in the soil if microorganisms are there fastly they will decompose in the soil okay Uh, again the soil will become fertile land fertile soil okay students here so many things are there some microorganisms are helpful to convert milk into milk uh, milk to curd okay the microorganism name is lactobacillus what what students lactobacillus remember this name of microorganism is lactobacillus lactobacillus bacteria it will convert milk to curd okay students how we are getting curd using lactobacillus bacteria after curd what happened we can take the butter from the curd we can make ghee from the butter okay students like this uh, different different uses of microorganisms are there 
different different microorganism they will uh, give the different different uses and some my, microorganisms are very harmful corona corona is a microorganism okay students it is very harmful uh, virus okay virus and bacteria fungi and algae all these are some are harmful some are useful to the human life okay students here we come to know that some microorganisms are unicellular what do you mean by unicellular unicellular means microorganisms made up of only one cell microorganisms made up of only one cell or single cell single cell microorganism those are known as unicellular microorganisms if the microorganisms made up of many cells two or more cells those are known as multicellular microorganisms okay students here the uh, one more point we come to say they can live in all kinds of environment microorganisms these are these can live in the all types of environment maybe summer maybe rainy season maybe cold climate winter season also these microorganisms are active and they can live in any type of environment bacteria are there viruses are there fungi uh, algae protozoa all these are the examples for microorganisms okay students here many uh, diseases are they caused by the viruses uh, question may ask for one marks which are the diseases caused by the virus what you will say polio corona chicken pox and cough fever flu all these are caused by viruses okay students this is is like dysentery okay malaria caused by bacteria okay some diseases are caused by bacteria and some diseases are caused by viruses and some bacteria are useful to the mankind example i given you milk is converted into curd how it is possible it is because of the bacteria some bacteria are convert the milk into curd okay students which bacteria it is the name of the bacteria is lactobacillus the name of the bacteria is lactobacillus okay students these are the points you understood i think okay bye bye these are the definition students you can write the definition of the microorganisms okay microorganisms are classified into bacteria fungi protozoa and some algae okay here viruses are also microscopic but they are different from other microorganism microorganisms are used for various purposes they are used in the preparation of curd bread and cake okay students here you come to know that our lesson name is microorganisms friend and foe microorganisms are too small and are not visible to our unaided eye they can live in all kinds of environment ranging from ice cold climate to hot springs and deserts to marshy lands microorganisms may be single celled like bacteria some algae and protozoa 
और मल्टी सेलुलर सच एज मेनी आलगे एंड फंगी पोलियो चिकन पॉक्स कफ कवर्ड बाय कॉस्ड बाय वायरसेस के स्टूडेंट्स